Morning, day seven. Now the weather's taking a bit of a turn. Uh, it's pretty windy, I've had a bit of rain this morning. We were gonna go and try and get some uh, some specimen pollock today, but it's a pretty sketchy spot um, with the rain and maybe too slippy. We're gonna have a look at it. Uh, we're gonna go get some breakfast now, waiting for the boys to come round. We'll have a chat with them and we'll go from there. So we're down on the mark. Just trying to get a route down. Georgie's going first. Three points of contact. We're gonna take our time and hopefully get somewhere down here. Yeah, we've come to a point where the rope needs to come out. Got some big drops down here. Obviously we're taking our time, but yeah, one drop is not good. So we set up the rope, happy days. Finally, we're down on the mark. Let's get some fish. There we go, first one of the trip. We want them a lot bigger. Happy to be off the mark. So we've just moved spots from around the corner there. We think this is somewhere near where Mark and Gary were yesterday, where they had the big boys. But that is mental getting down. That little section there, I slipped down all the way and fell at the bottom. Thought I broke my toe, but no, it's, it's good. It's uh, it's crazy, crazy getting down here, but you just got to take your time. Beautiful, look at that. And another one, the move seemed to have worked. Beautiful. Big thank you to Mark and Gary for the secret lure. It's working. And there we go, George had his first one. Well done, mate. So, they haven't really come on the feed, but we're still getting a couple around about this size. But yeah, good sport. We're just waiting on that big one to come in. Um, I don't know, we'll keep plucking away. It's been hard work, so nice to get another. Let's get it put back. So, set up for today. Bassadessa. Paired up with a HCO lure game. Lovely little reel, that, 2,500. 40 pound braid down at the business end. Movable two and a half ounce lead down to my snood. Lure at the bottom. This is hard work, especially with my little legs. Got to get up there somehow and up there. Carrying this. What a nightmare. And we haven't had many fish either, gutted. So, just uh, looking for a fourth spot. The annoying thing here is you, you plan a route, but you can't see down below. So just to show you, I've just been up to the top and back down. As you can see, I'm piercing with sweat. And this is what I've come up to.
So yeah, I don't fancy that. Um, I don't know how long we're going to give it. The boys are still further down. I'm knackered, but I still want that big pollock. Um, don't know, just keep trekking along and hopefully I can, uh, I can get a little spot. But yeah, it's hard work. Surely we've got to get a biggie. So, back at the top of the rocks now. I'm gonna call it end of session there. Knackered. Just admiring the view. Beautiful. Uh, just had a couple of beers. Just had a bit of food. And we're now going to hit the last spot of the trip. Uh, it's going to be easy fishing. Not easy catching, but easy fishing, fishing on a platform. Um, we've heard of big congas being pulled in here. Maybe the old thorn back. But yeah, it's just really... Well, it'd be nice to have... Not a chill out session, but an easy sort of sit down by your rods close to the van because today has been a hard day. So fingers crossed we can get some monsters. So we're down at the mark howling winds. Uh, first bait about to go out pretty pedal. I'll elasticate it in a second. Uh, a bit of mackerel on there. Usual sentries with the Accios R8. And then on the second one, got the sea weight clipped. Let's get it chucked out. George has got us in the first fish. Only a little small one, but target species. Well done, Georgie boy. So it's been dead for two hours. We've got a long journey tomorrow. So we've all decided to call it end of session there. There we go, the end of the trip. Yeah, we're just uh, blitzing through the house now, getting it all sorted. Just want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to the boys, uh, Dylan George, that I stayed with. Uh, yeah, we hit it really, really hard, and especially Dylan with all the driving, he is uh, yeah, he's going to be shattered when he gets home. Um, obviously, Gareth, Gary, and Mark, especially Gary and Mark, they've been fishing around Ireland for twenty-five plus years, and the knowledge that they've got is unbelievable. And they pass it down to us. Uh, they put us on the spots, so just massive, massive thank you, massive thank you for the invite as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm blown away. It's been a trip of a lifetime. Caught some quality fish. Had a good giggle. Loads of Guinness. Massive, massive thank you. On to the next session. As always, guys, give us a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. So any adventures that we've gone, you can come with us and we'll see you at the next session.